Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video. Um, today I'm going to do a OBS 26.0.2 update. It's an OBS update that recently came out, so I thought I would do an update video on OBS. There are a couple of changes here. Um, first of all, as you can see here, um, there's a new option actually. Start virtual camera, as you can see here. Uh, this is actually an option that will allow you to, um, to use OBS as a video source. Zoom, for example, Zoom sessions, which is used quite a lot now. So if, for example, you're in a call or something like that, and you can use actually OBS to use your screen as a display, so as a video source, which is way more easier if you know OBS, you know the program. Here in the layout, some things have changed. Um, as you can see here, yeah, now I can choose the display. Um, my, this is my second display because my second display is a 24-inch screen, so I always make sure it's like that one, so because 24-inch is what every video YouTube is, which is basically 920 by 1080. As you can see, you have some other options here. You can add filters now, which is also pretty nice. And as you can see here, this became smoother, you know. So as you can see, the priority button is there right now. It doesn't really change that much. So I'm going to jump in with the settings, of course. These are the uh, general settings, of, like the language. Here is English, theme, dark. And for the rest, you can just um, change some things if you want. You can copy this, uh, but this is nothing really too uh, interesting. This is more... Um, preferences so then i'm going to go over to output and recording because i'm going to do it for recording here the settings output mode advanced uh, type standards the recording path you can choose choose it yourself you can just do browse and choose your own recording folder i do it in my d and then obs recordings is a file i make myself so you just have to tell obs basically where you want to um, save your files then uh, the recording format mp4 i definitely advise you mp4 because mp4 is the video file that's like the most readable in every program so that doesn't matter which um, editing software you use uh, mp4 it's it's one of the most readable video files so i always make sure it's on mp4 so uh, here i have our two audio tracks one is for the uh, desktop audio like when i do something in windows you hear the windows sound that's the bad desktop audio the second one is of course my microphone uh, the encoder i don't have a graphic card or anything so um, because i have a basic laptop so i just use the uh, x and 264 but if you have of course, a better computer that you build yourself. Uh, definitely go ahead and choose a better option here. Risco output, um, as I said, 920 by 1080. What I do because my inch, my screen is for 24 inch, which is basically translates to a 920 by 1080 pixels. So be sure it's on 920 by 1080. That's also like every video on YouTube. A rate control, I have it at CBR and 50,000 kbps. Uh, for the rest, this one, you can leave it. Here you have ultra fast. Even though your computer is a slow computer, I always advise you to put this on ultra fast. It's really important. Because as you can see here, CPU, yes, is preset. Higher is less CPU. Least CPU as possible so that it will run faster if you record the video. Then you have profiles high. And here in the audio, I have all tracks even though the ones that I don't use in a, a audio bitrate of 320. Uh, then the sample rate here for the audio tab here is uh, 48 kilohertz, uh, st channels of stereo, desktop audio as I said, speakers here which are like windows noise and other things. And then here I have the microphone here which I use a program called voice meter to make my voice better. So basically this is my microphone and this you can also copy if you need to. All right, the video, this is short but also really important. 920 by 1080, as I said, the resolution. Uh, for both of these um, the down scale filter you can use langsas sharpening uh, scaling 36 samples that works perfectly for me should also work perfectly for you uh, and then fps around 60 like usual hotkeys are preference if you want to start uh, streaming or start recording with a key a specific key you can do a, a, a hotkey if you want but as i said this is preference i never do that and then in advanced uh, the process priority high the render uh, direct 3d pretty sure that's also the option for you uh, then the color format nv12 and then 709 and the range uh, on full and then these also something you can just copy if you really need to but yeah that, that's it for the settings um as you can see a couple of changes but changes that definitely uh, improve um with this here as well the start virtual camera um the new display here which is more useful priorities button just the, the general program has also become smoother, which is also nice. Yeah, there you go, guys. If you needed that um, update uh, on your recording settings for OBS, here you have an update. Just so you can copy all of it if you need to and just get the same video quality as I have. In any case, I helped, of course. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe, it would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.